have a very simple assembly open here. It's called plate A and it's in the introduction folder. And we're going to create a drawing from this assembly. And so I can create a new document and create a drawing or I can choose to make a drawing from the assembly. I'll go ahead and choose the make drawing from assembly option. And within that folder I've saved a drawing file with the same name. I'm going to go ahead and not open that file. And I'll choose the standard drawing template. Once I create that new document or new drawing, it's going to bring me into the sheet format slash size options. And I can choose from a number of stock templates, create a custom sheet, or you can always upload your own if you have your own sheet formats. But I'll stick with the default for now. So the difference between using the new document and using the make drawing from part option or make drawing from assembly option is that you'll be brought into this view palette where you can drag in views directly from. Once you create your first view this is going to ask you to create projected views if you want and so everywhere you click in you're going to create whatever view that you have dragged out. And these views will all be linked except for your isometrics horizontally or vertically depending on how you set it up. And those are options you can change that I'll discuss in a later video. For each of these drawing views, when you click on them, you have several options that you can work with. We can change how these are displayed. Change the scaling. And also change the scale for the projected views if we want to have those on a different scale. I also had an exploded view built into that part, or rather assembly, and so I can drag this in. And if you do have an exploded view, or if you want to create an exploded view from a already made drawing view, you can come into the properties and choose this show an exploded state option. Within drawings, we have quite a few options for creating different views, for example, section views. As well as detail views, all of which are very simple to create. There's also quite a few annotations that there are to work with. And we can also use any of our sketch entities. For example, if we wanted to pull off dimensions, we could use the Smart Dimension tool. And you'll notice these come in as gray, as these are considered driven dimensions and can't be changed from inside the drawing. There are dimensions that you can bring in that will allow you to change the dimensions of the part. And those you'd create in several different manners. You can import in those annotations when you drop in your views. Or you can use something called model items, which I'll cover in the drawing section. You can find more details on creating drawings in the drawing section of SolidWise. This will cover all of the tools you see in all of these toolbars, as well as different methods of managing your drawings and different items that you'll be able to add into your drawings such as build materials and different tables that pertain to your assemblies as well as parts.